Hi, this is Cynthia Horner from Right on Digital, and I am so excited to conduct this interview today with Mark Espinoza. So you are someone who has been a fan favorite for, for quite a few years because of the different um, television programs that you've um, starred on, but this particular um, series is very different because of the fact that this is more like a thriller action series. So can you talk about your character for a little bit? Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I play uh, uh, the FBI director Rogelio Real, um, and uh, he is um, kind of a very serious dude and uh, uh, gets to wear some really nice suits. Um, and I get to work with an extraordinary uh, FBI agent in Val Turner, played by Ryan Michelle Bat. And um, the character himself is, is, is kind of a by the book sort of guy, sort of dude. Um, he's very much um, a, an FBI guy. Uh, he is uh, at the beginning in the pilot, uh, for those who haven't seen it, um, for those who haven't seen it, please watch it. But for those who haven't seen it yet, um, they capture a um, an arms dealer uh, played by uh, Marina, uh, Marina Baccarin, Elena Fedorova. And so he, the uh, um, uh, attorney general and the director of Homeland Security um, are questioning her. And it turns out that uh, Real is the only one who's on the up and up. The other two have, are criminals and uh, um, get busted in it. So he, he is the lone standing guy from the pilot as far as the, um, the authority figures in this. And uh, the, the course of the show itself is him getting involved in just trying to figure out what Elena is up to. And because she has, she's captured these banks and um, uh, it's slowly, as the onion gets peeled, it slowly, revealed it's, it's not revealed but you're not quite sure who the bad guy is in this you know real's a good guy val's a good good person um right. but it becomes very much a thriller in the sense that you don't know who's the bad guy anymore uh, <laughs> including including real he does it's it's all it's all news to him you know? well i think that um it's it's a nice show i love action thriller oh, yeah. type shows what about you is that one of your favorite genres i i enjoy it. it it wasn't until i started doing it this is the first time i've done something like a thriller i I've, I've always played doctors and lawyers and a ton of procedural stuff um you know cia agents never played the fbi director I've, I've never done anything quite like this that is so fast moving um so energetic justin lynn directed the pilot so it he started it off with a very, very much that flavor, but uh, you know, the, the team of extraordinary writers and, and uh, producers and directors on it have kept the heat up in this. It is a blast. And I told uh, Nick Wooten, creator, he, he and Jake Coburn, uh, I didn't want to know what was going to happen because I in, so enjoyed sitting down and reading the script for the first time. I didn't want to know what was going to happen until I read it. It was more fun reading it. I've never had so much fun reading a script for the first time. Uh, and so I would read it multiple times. First time was just for the entertainment part of it. And then I go back and work, start working on the character a bit. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed every script just from, an, from a reading standpoint, from the entertainment standpoint. Wow. And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't normally like watching myself. I, I get far too caught up in you know, the size of my ears or you know, or, or, you know, my bald head or something. I always find fault in that. I have so enjoyed watching these episodes. I've never enjoyed watching myself more, if that makes any sense. It is, it is truly a fun show and a fun experience to be a part of. Well, that's great. And um, when I was reading through your bio, I found out that you are a dad. And what is it like being the dad? Um, do you have children that want to follow in your footsteps since you've been able to do all this great network work or are they interested in other types of activities 
Well, the, the girls are um, 18, 16, and 13. And up to now, there, there hasn't been any real interest in it. Um, my eldest daughter is very, very much wants to be a creative writer, um, write novels. Um, middle daughter is an extraordinary athlete and musician. I'm not quite sure what she wants to do. I just found out that the youngest wants to be a musical theater star. Um, <laughs> and I would support her no matter what, but I would make sure that she knows if she continues with that, I, I would make sure she knows that the business is a business and it's hard. There's nothing better in the world than getting paid for what you love to do, but it's hard. It's a hard journey. It's one that you're going to have to be really prepared to take the, um, the knocks for because it is not, it's not as magical as the art form. The business is very much, as you well know, the business is very much about business. Um, right. And so being I, I, prepared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Always show up on time and know your lines. Right. And the thing about it is it looks easy when you're just actually watching these um, programs, but it's not. There's so much there's so much um, preparation involved and so many moving parts. Oh, yeah. So therefore, you know, it's it's it is work. Now, why don't we talk for a minute about your other iconic roles because of the fact that <laughs> people people know you from these shows. I don't know if they just come up to you on the street and say, hey, I remember you from such and such. But. You know, well, I've, I've had I've had I've had guys, um, lawyers come up to me and think I was a judge and start talking to me. I've had I've sat at a pub in New York and a guy comes up to me and starts talking to me like I'm a cop because they've seen me on stuff and they confuse me with the real thing. And somehow in their mind, I am the real the real guy. Uh, and that's when I get the biggest kick. It's nice when, a, when someone comes up and says, I enjoy your work. And I saw you on whatever. And, and uh, I really appreciate it. But I get a bigger kick when someone really confuses me with the real thing. It makes me feel like I'm doing my job right. Oh, that is funny. Now, oh, yeah. are you someone who's into social media a lot? Like, if so, which is your favorite, um, Facebook or your Instagram? I, I don't do Facebook so much anymore. I, I do post on Instagram. I'm, I'm not a big social media guy. Um, and as a result, I, I kind of steer, steer away from it uh, now. Uh, I think it's kind of gone a little, a little wacky. Instagram's fun. And a lot of the cast is using Instagram to promote the show. So I, I'm doing that now. Um, but I, I'm not, a, I'm actually kind of a private, private guy. Mm -hmm. No, I understand that. Now, my last question to you is, what advice would you give younger people that are interested in acting? The ones that realize that it's serious and that you may need to go to school for it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, the industry's changed considerably since I started out. Um, now there, there is a, a real quantity of work and they're shooting all across the country. So it, it, there are opportunities now that weren't there for me when I started. And just the nature of it's changed. Uh, but I would tell anyone starting out, the, the same thing we were talking about a while ago, that, that it's business and it's work. And there is nothing better than, than doing what you love to do and getting paid for it and making a living at it. But be prepared to work and be prepared for disappointment. Be prepared to enjoy your successes, but stay focused. Uh, it's very easy to get distracted. It's very easy to take criticism personally. It's very easy to get lost. Even in your own sense of idealism, you have to be practical about it at the same time. Um, and, and I've always, made the comment that you have to you have to balance your idealism and your uh not skepticism but your your critical thinking 50 50 if you can you have to be very practical about what you're doing and take take direction take criticism take all that stuff but maintain your idealism if you can keep a healthy balance between the two you'll survive just fine but if you get lost in either one of them 
it, it's it can be self defeating, you know. Um, and just keep going. Don't let anyone ever tell you no. 